Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. Today I'm going to bring you along with me as I share a what I eat in a day video on a low carb, keto friendly, trim healthy mama friendly diet. And here we go. So it is kind of a gloomy overcast day here in Ohio. We have um, FaceTime piano lessons with my mom in love and we have just regular homeschool lessons for the day. I am a little bit hungry, <laughs> like really hungry actually. So I am going to, I think I'm going to do the like the TikTok breakfast sandwich. I've done this before and it turns out so delicious on my low carb keto bread. So I'm going to go make myself one of those. The girls have been eating some homemade cinnamon rolls that I made up. Gosh, was it Saturday I made those? And I froze half the pan and then kept the other half out so they could have those for a couple of days. And those are for sure not keto friendly. And we do our best to kind of balance what the girls eat as far as, um, you know, healthy things versus less healthy things. And obviously cinnamon rolls made with white flour and regular old brown sugar are not the best option, but, um, we do try to balance those things a little bit. And so that's what they've been getting to enjoy as the autumnal season has been upon us. And anyway, so breakfast for me and I'll see you in a minute. It is eight o'clock. I have gotten about a third of the way through that second cup of coffee and I produced this little breakfast sandwich. I used some of my low carb keto bread. That's, um, I do have a video on that. So I used two kind of smaller slices. They were kind of at the end of the loaf. I don't know why we're not focusing on the sandwich camera. There we are. So it was at the end of the loaf, so these slices are a little bit smaller. I did two eggs and one slice of Colby Jack cheese that is thin sliced from Sargento's and one slice of some Hormel Naturals ham. Uh, you can barely see that in there. So that will be my breakfast. This is really high protein and kind of more moderate on the fat and pretty low carb. Um, I would have to go in and calculate the carbs, but I would imagine just doing some quick thought processes is probably about three grams of net carbs in this breakfast sandwich today. Um, and then of course my uh, homemade almond milk creamer is what is in my coffee there. So a pretty high protein breakfast there this morning. We have piano lessoning happening and I decided that I wanted to boost a little bit of vitamin C right now. So that's why I decided to put some restore powder into some hot water. I did probably one and a half servings. It's supposed to be two teaspoons in eight ounces of water. So I did approximately, um, approximately a tablespoon in 12 ounces of water. So not quite a solid two servings, but um, it's similar to like emergency and it kind of fizzes up whenever you first add the water. Um, but then it sort of settles down and it's, you know, not as colorful as the, um, emergency brand or any of those kinds of powders because the only coloring in it is going to be turmeric root extract. Like it, so it's very marginal on the amount of color you actually see in it. I really like this one, like no colorants, no 
artificial stuff and things. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go sip on this while I work on literature with my oldest. It is lunchtime. Caitlin is finishing up math. Molly and Lauren are playing for a minute while I work on getting their lunch back here sorted out for them. And I have my lunch done. And because I'm so hungry, I was afraid I might forget to show you my lunch if I didn't take a break and do that really quickly. So here we go. It is 12:12. 12, 12. I have about one swallow left of my restore. And um, so I'll drink that. And for lunch, I have one eighth. So half of a quarter, half of one quarter of that, um, of cabbage that I just sauteed up in some olive oil. And then I have a spaghetti sauce recipe that I have been making forever that I had just a little bit left. That's about three quarters of a cup of my homemade spaghetti sauce. And it has some sausage and some regular ground beef in there. It's really delicious. I a little bit over seasoned it whenever I made that sauce. So I didn't season up my cabbage to sort of balance that. And then over here I have some keto aid. I have shown videos on this several times. I do have a dedicated video on that. Super simple. And yeah, so that is going to be my lunch today. All right, it is almost two o'clock here at the house. We have had the lunch, we have cleaned up the things, the girls are off to quiet time for the big girls and a nap for the little one. And I went ahead and made myself a third cup of coffee for the day. I ran out of my homemade almond milk creamer, so all I did was just some, almond, like I just put almond milk in my cup, a tiny squeeze, probably less than a teaspoon of this um, MCT oil and a half a scoop of my collagen and then um, used my milk frother to whisk that up together and just try to help that oil be more evenly dispersed in my cup. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go actually, it's like super gloomy outside. I'm going to go and sit outside and I'm going to read for a little bit. Okay, um, Jared just got home. He's about to pop through the door and I'm working on dinner. Tonight we are gonna go with taco skillet bake. It's a recipe taco that, <laughs> it's a recipe that I found on Cooking Keto with Christy. I think that was her channel. And this was like back in 2016 when I first saw this recipe on her channel. I'm sure it was a little bit older than that. But I don't actually follow through on her recipe the exact way she does because for the girls that's too much chili powder and too much spice. So um, I do reduce the seasonings, change them up a little bit to better suit the girls' needs. And so yeah, currently the girls are watching old family videos and enjoying it immensely because they get to see just how adorable they once were and realize just how less adorable they are now. I'm just kidding, they're still adorable. <laughs> Alrighty, it is almost 5.30 and dinner is all cooked. I have for myself and Jared plates of shredded cooked cabbage and some of the taco skillet bake. There's my recipe back there. I really didn't follow it too terribly closely. And um, we also have some carrots and some celery for the two of us. I did the girls with some of the frozen cooked rice that I have kept in my freezer. I, Whenever I can't use all of it for the girls, I will just freeze it um, after it's fully cooled and we can just shake out a little bit into a bowl and reheat it as needed. So anyway, that's gonna be dinner for tonight. All right, Jared is working on getting the girls to bed and that means we're getting ready to watch some TV ourselves. I am um, feeling hungry and so I'm going to make myself a chai latte with some of this chai and I'm going to use some of my homemade almond milk creamer but for a snack we oh gosh white balance off okay we are going to have this so this is some kind it's like a frozen peanut butter bar that I've sort of created with some jack which is Jared Approved Chocolate, also known as Oreo Skinny Chocolate. And this is, um, it's also got some um, little protein bites in it that are low carb friendly to kind of give it more of like a crispity crunchy. And so that's throughout the whole thing and um, they're frozen and they're cold. Gotta wipe my hand. Okay, tea. Ugh, more water. 
All right. Hold, please. Okay, that's a little bit loud, but once that is brewed or steeped or however you want to call it, I'm going to let that steep for probably about, I don't know, eight or 10 minutes. And then I'm going to add in my almond milk creamer to make it more like a latte. Um, yeah. And that's going to be the end of the day for us. Thank you so much for joining me on this What I Eat in a Day video. I hope to see you in my next one.